Hi there, and welcome to The Dough Show for Wednesday, August 22nd, 2018. I'm Ferris Fair. And I'm Bambi Dextrous, and we have another really great episode for you today. Uh, it is the start of the busiest season of the year for us here in Edmonton. Uh, it is Coronation Week! So it has been uh, fantastically busy this past weekend, and this next weekend is going to be just as busy. It's absolutely crazy. So let's talk so about much some to film, right? So much to film. So <laughs> much to film. Uh, and actually, Bambi did most of it this weekend on her own. So. I really put the dough in dough this week. We really did. <laughs> uh, so uh, this past Friday, uh, we actually had no plans to film at Morgan McMichael's. Um, and when she came to Evolution, and we decided kind of last minute that maybe we would. So uh, I set it all up, and I grabbed the camera that Bambi uses, and I took it to the bar, and he went immediately after work, and went straight to, to the, the bar, bar to film, to film and film. sat down to sat film. Sat down, turned the camera on, and the batteries were dead. So, dead and dying batteries. Um, it's a problem we run into on occasion. It is. Um, but we persevere through it. We do. Uh, basically what happened is we screwed up. Uh, we both made assumptions that the other was dealing with something and neither of us did it. We done so, did screwed up. So um, it's unfortunately <laughs> it was a crack that, that happened. Um, there's some reasons, you know, there's some people away and unavailable and stuff like that and we're trying to catch up, but it is what it is. Uh, point being, we screwed up and we humbly apologize to all of the local performers, Plastica, Nova, Ivy, Vula, and Myra. Um, we be sorry. We're really sorry. And again, I had not even told you that we were there to film for you. So I'm devastated that we weren't able to do that for you. Um, I know it was a big night for all of you and you absolutely killed it. And it kills me that there's no footage of it. So um, yeah. on a serious note, I was devastated. Yeah. So, so it is what it is. Um, we can only continue to try to do better. And I'm just going to say this. If and when we put out a call saying we are desperately looking for someone to help us film, we mean it. We're not mm -hmm. just being lazy, we're not just being, we need the help. So if people want us to continue doing what we have been able to do and to and not charge it, and, and to not charge for the service so that we don't have to actually pay another videographer, we need some help. So that's the point. Uh, unfortunately, this past weekend, Friday got screwed up. Saturday, we were unable to film at Hail Mary. We weren't able to film the second um, brunch on Sunday. There's all kinds of things that we would like to be able to do, but we just currently can't because we don't have enough people that are willing to do it. We do have a little bit of footage coming from Morgan McMichaels. There was a little bit of group number and there was some other stuff, but again, we were filming on what little battery we had and I know he was filming on his phone and everything else so we do have some footage coming and we'll be putting it up really soon but across town at Fargo's we actually had Lady Arcana filming another show uh, Sassy Psych Ward put on another drag show we had a really good time the last time we were there yeah um, hosted again by Dean Monroe mm -hmm. um, I think everybody had a really good time yeah uh, Bubbles LaRue, mm -hmm. Misty Marks, Lady Tenderflake, Miss Indecisive, Ryder Cunts, Gigi, and Shayla Zon Shayla Zon, Shayla Zon LaRue. LaRue. <laughs> Videos from all those performers are up already mm -hmm. on Dragging Our Heels, so you should definitely go and check those out. Saturday was the beginning of the Imperial Sovereign Court of the Wild Roses Coronation, Coronation 43. Uh, it was the first event in the season, and it was the in-town show. Yeah, it kind of kicked everything off. Um, I was there for that, filming mm -hmm. it, uh, and there was lots of great costumes, lots of great music numbers, uh, there's even a group number, YMCA, mm -hmm. I mean, I think there's going to be a showdown with I you. think Dixon and I might need to arm wrestle for the hottest cop, but you know. We'll <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> uh, that was at the Edmonton Inn and Conference Center. Um, 
There was performances from Angela Mercy and Can You Do It and Lola L'Amour, Chris Bear, Trey Park. Finally, a number from, from Ruby we haven't seen out in a while, mm. so Ruby Hyman was out. Um, so yeah, uh, check out those videos on Dragging Our Heels. They are all up and available. Thanks completely to Bambi Dextrous, who filmed oh, well, it all and oh, posted it all. Well, so, thank you, Bambi. I also want to quickly say, like, there were so many people that performed this weekend, and we can't mention everybody. No, it's true. Because we don't have time, or it would be no. an hour-long show. And I literally just stuff. scanned and grabbed five names. Uh, Sunday, uh, there was a couple of brunches going on in the city, but the one that Bambi was able to make it to was at yes. the Match Eatery mm -hmm. in Public House. Um, mm -hmm. It was the first in the series of the Queen's Brunch with Godiva, with Godiva. and Tequila Mockingbird. Yes, they are hosting, and they were, they did a wonderful job hosting. Wonderful. Good. And uh, Melinda Virgo was there um, performing, mm -hmm. and she brought back her commander number. Yes. Also performing was Connie Lingua. Yeah. And she brought back the Italian and Italian, or uh, Mambo Italiano, okay. sorry. Um, so yeah, you'll definitely have to check those out. Um, I'm looking forward to next month's brunch. Um, it's always a good time. Yes. It's going to be good. Um, that was not even all for Sunday because Bambi actually pulled double duty. Double duty. Sunday night at the Sunday Review. Review Royale, Royale 11. 11. Um, it was yeah. hosted by last time's winners. Princess and Creme Brulee. Exactly, and they both did some awesome numbers. Yep. Um, there was some debut. Some uh, debuts. Rouge, Rouge Fatal, Evelyn yep. Knox, Betty Banshee, and Georgia Tropicana. Mm -hmm. All debuted, so that's all pretty All debuted. Great. Welcome to the channel, of course. And it was very exciting. Um, they actually announced third place this time. Sometimes they just kind of do the top two, yep. but they announced third place this time, and this one was Lady Arcana. So congratulations to her. That's absolutely fabulous. And again, thank you again for filming on uh, on, on Friday, Friday night for us. Yeah, um, thank you. Second place. Anyone second we know? Place. Oh gosh. Second place went to my bae, my second husband, if you will. Colin Bay won second place. <laughs> Very excited that my drag husband got second place. I voted for you. I voted for you. <laughs> the secret is out. <laughs> uh, congratulations. Congratulations to Colin. Um, and then... First place! First place. Oh, with a prize, a cash prize of $500. Mm -hmm. First place. And that went to Georgia. Tropicana. Yeah. Tropicana who got first place. So uh, it was her first time. First which is fabulous. Um, only a couple people have done that before, if I'm not mistaken. Um, Kat Marlowe did it when she made her debut and, and won, and I believe Bitch But Wet Pussy did the same thing when she did it. So Kat Marlowe debuted at a Secretia show. Oh, you're right. She, she did. did. She just did her second number, or whatever it was, and yeah. banged it out. Her first time she did the review reel. Mm -hmm. I guess it was the first one, wasn't it? So it was kind of yeah. Because I was in that first review reel. Oh, Hi, Cat. Huh? <laughs> I uh, was in that one with you. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, lit. lit. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so. Uh, Review Royale 12 is coming up in September. I can't remember oh, the date yeah. of this exact one. I think it's the 16th, but I'm not 100% sure. Remember. Uh, so that is Maybe coming. Maybe so, because I think it was like a week before cherry popping. I think so. I don't know. So uh, I'm assuming Georgia Tropicana will be hosting maybe with we someone assume. else. We're not sure. That uh, certainly could that's be. That's been the precedent. Um, but Georgia yeah. will be happy to see you out again. Yeah, it's going to be a fantastic time. Anyway, Anyways. those videos are all up already on the channel, so uh, definitely go and check those out after this. But first, we want to talk about what's coming up this next weekend. Um, as we said before, the ISCWR has Coronation 43. It's continuing on this week, starting with tomorrow, the and Command it's Show. Busy week. It is going to be a busy week. <laughs> Starting with the Command Show at Evolution at 7 p.m. Uh, that, I think, is when the Upper House picks performers pick and performers performers and, and their numbers that they're going to do. Yeah. So, anyway, it's going to be a fun show. Um, Lots of fun. Um, 
Miss Indecisive is actually filming that for us because I am working and so are you across town. Um, Friday is the out of town show at the Edmonton Inn. So that's when we're going to see performances from the Saskatoon and Regina and Vancouver and we may see Misty Meadows. Misty Meadows. From um, Vancouver, yeah, maybe? we might we might see a few. Uh, some, well, I'm sure we will see some of our favorites. So uh, I'm yeah. really excited. To we do enjoy our out of town queens. They're they're not on the channel as often. Exactly. Enjoy them all the more when they come up. So that's the Edmonton Inn at 7 p.m. and that's going to be fabulous. Also, this weekend at the Edmonton Inn on Saturday is the main event. It is the main event, really. Coronation 43 where we will see finally who is going to be emperor and empress for this year. It's going to be a Very exciting. It's going to be fantastic. Uh, it's going to be filled with performances from the upper house and, um, and their guests, and I their believe. guests, and uh, somebody might sing a song or two. Somebody might. Uh, um, be. It's going to be a really good time. Uh, that's the whole <laughs> shebang starts at like four thirty or something, and it goes till long after I've already left to go to work. So uh, <laughs> Bambi's going to continue on and finish filming after. If I can stay up that late, <laughs> right? I will be there to film the entire show. Uh, so it's going to be fantastic. Uh, I hope to uh, see a bunch of you out, and if you don't have your tickets, you should probably get them You probably soon. get them, because it's coming up right around the corner. Sunday is the final stop on the ISCWR Coronation 43 train with the Tough Drag and Coronation Holdover show at Evolution. Uh, shows at like 9 o'clock, like 5 bucks, I think, the huge. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. It's like um, a review full of court people. Yeah, with uh, with some of the ones that are left over from the weekend. Mm -hmm. So we're going to... And, and you mentioned the Tough Drag. Mm -hmm. Well, that is a reigning Tough Drag. Cinnamon right. is going to be stepping down and somebody else is going to take it's up true. that spot. It's true. Trey's going to be stepping down a whole lot this weekend. It's um, true. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be fantastic. So uh, you definitely need to check that out. Picks, Picks of, of the, the week. week. Okay. So because Sky is indisposed, Brayden's off traveling the world. <laughs> Steven. Oh, speaking of which. Brayden is in Australia, and while Brayden is in Australia, he <gasps> happened you, to talk you, to some you, drag you. queens. While he was talking to said drag queens, the conversation turns to this little PSA that Trinity Taylor happened to do, and, well, like, Brayden filmed it. So anyway, it was pretty cool to hear that on the other side of the world, they're talking about something that we're doing here in Edmonton. Very cool. Very so cool. It, it definitely gave us kind of a touch of the feelies that, you know, like, our stuff is really getting out there. So, oh, yeah. Um, Brayden, Brayden doesn't have a pick because he's in Australia. Sky's indisposed. We didn't talk to Miss Indecisive about it because we're stupid. <laughs> oh, my. My pick of the week is... I didn't watch any drag this weekend. No. <laughs> I really didn't. I, I, I sat down today and I'm like, oh, I'm going to catch up and I'm going to watch. And I started bringing up videos and I got... About 15 seconds into one number and I'm like no uh, so anyway it's not that I I'm sure there's some absolutely fabulous there numbers I'm sure I'll get around to watching some of them but as of this filming I have yet to watch any so I can't make an educated okay pick. my pick of the week is going to Artasia the Yay. middle it was a fun number during a fun review royale Yay! Uh, congratulations, Artasia. Yeah. That's fabulous. Oh, close second would have been the princess numbers because she did a Ariana Grande, and I, I do love Ariana. I think Princess and I have that in common. So close second, Princess, either one of the Ariana numbers. Uh, as always, thank you so much for watching. Feel free to like, share, subscribe. We really like it when you do. Anyway, we like it and stuff. Bye. Bye.